Everybody, happy Friday! Yeah. Welcome to day one of my little mini vacation. Um, it is, I think, hold on, is it a little after? Good morning, welcome to day one of my little mini vacation. Um, here he comes. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's just gonna be a chill Friday. I think it, I need to take a chill hill. Stayed up a little bit too late last night reading, but I am, I have, I am invested in this wicker man, or the whisper boy, the whisper man, my goodness, I'm so tired, I guess. Um, I am really invested in this whisper man book, and I'm really liking it so far. Oh, that seed still sticks with me right now, so I'm really liking it. Um, I might watch some spooky movies this weekend, too. Because we're really, we're, we're celebrating that we're leading ourselves into August, out of the August, and into the Burr months, so. Let's just usher. It's the last weekend in August, last full weekend um, in August, so let's just, let's, let's go celebrate that. I know. Blech. But, yeah, very happy. Very ready for a little break. Let's do this. I literally didn't vlog anything when I took Ludo for his walk, but I am so freaking proud of him. We went for a nice little walk, and then I laid down and fell asleep because I was like, I think I stayed up too late last night. Where did he go? Uh oh. Oh, there he is. Um, but we have been working, I have been working on Ludo, um, with being neutral around kids and not like completely, Ludo! Yeah. Really? You're so getting a bath. He's adopted. <laughs> um, but we've been working on him on his child react or his kid reactivity. And um, I'm just trying to teach him how to be neutral. And Tuesday, when I came home from work, I took him for a nice little walk. Because he gets cooped up in my bedroom all day because I don't take him to work because he doesn't like being in the kennels at work. Um, so I took him there. Or sorry, I took him for a walk. I'm still, I just woke up, so I'm like really, like, still out of it. But I took him for a walk. He saw some kids riding their bikes. And so I kind of stopped and I was like, is he going to react? So I had him sit and he like looked at the kids and he watched them. And then he looked at me, and he didn't react. So we got a cookie, because that's, you know, he's allowed to watch and see what they're doing, but, you know, you don't want him to, like, ah! <laughs> Um, But today, today, we did great. Because Tuesday, he reacted to a lot of the dogs that he wanted to go see and stuff like that. Today, we, yes, we reacted to a squirrel, a couple squirrels, but Mom was able to manage it. It's fine. Not as badly as we did Tuesday. Um, and then we were heading home and I saw a couple kids on a jungle gym in front of their house. And I'm like, that's fine. Okay, let's make sure. Because kids tend to like to um, pet dogs. And I'm like, mm, sometimes they'll ask, sometimes they won't. Um, you're kind of 50-50 whether they're going to do either or. So I was really, I was watching them to make sure that they weren't just gonna come walking up to Ludo and try and pet him, because that's when shit hits the fan. Um, so I, uh, I was really watching them. Thank God. <laughs> but um, I was, we were at a crossroad. We were at a stoplight, or not a stoplight, but we were, we were, there was a stop sign for the traffic going this way, but not this way. So I was watching my, I was looking for both ways to make sure that like, there weren't as any traffic coming. And I noticed that I went to walk and Ludo didn't, and he was like, nope. So I looked across the street and I noticed that the little girl that was playing was like getting ready to cross the street. And I'm like, no, honey, you can't pet him. He doesn't like kids. She stopped, which thank God, because like, Who's just gonna walk over? If she would have very nicely yelled at me and asked me to pet my dog, I would have told her right then and there. No, I'm sorry. I was very nice, I was very... But my, my worry was she was just gonna, like, without asking me, walk up to ask, like, pet my dog. No. No. 
not all dogs like kids. And it's not that Ludo's had bad experiences with kids. I don't even think he's met kids the way that he acts. Because he's like, what the hell are those? Th what is that? They're loud. They're unpredictable sometimes. They're loose freaking cannons. So it's understandable. And I can, I'm, I'm here to advocate for my dog. So it was good. She listened to us, thank God. But I really haven't had anybody not listen to us. But I, the way that people get insulted... When you tell them, no, you can't pet my dog. Like, he's very leery of men. And aside from, like, this T-Mobile guy who's, like, super nice and clearly was a bully breed owner. Because um, Ludo was like, oh, God, is this guy going to hurt me? And so I'm like, he's very leery of men. And he's like, oh, that's fine. And just, like, tried to befriend Ludo, which was very sweet of him. But, like, I don't know. He did really well. Didn't react to the kid at all when she started walking toward us before I, like, stopped her. So, that could have ended so badly. <laughs> but it didn't, and I'm so proud of him because it just goes to show that my training of his neutrality and the fact that he trusts me to advocate for him properly is there already. So, very proud of him. Very proud of myself because clearly I have proven to him that I have his best interest at heart. So, he. <laughs> It is actually very beautiful also out today, which makes me A, kind of sad because it was so chilly the whole rest of the week to the point where I was getting to wear sweatshirts, and now I can't. <laughs> so, I'm sad. I'm sad slightly. Alright. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Morning. Happy Saturday. <clears throat> I am up slept in a smidge bit, not a lot, um, but I didn't also didn't stay up too late. Read for about 30 minutes, uh, because I was pretty tired when I, yeah. Um, hopefully today I'm way more rested, but, yeah. I'm gonna, oh, I've got coffee in hand, I'm already obviously letting the boys out to hang out, and yeah. We all right, change of plans. I'm currently in the kitchen getting ready to start. Well, I've been cleaning. Um, so I've got a lot of dishes and stuff to do. I, I am just not getting into her soul to take. And I really want to start on my spooky audiobook. So I think I'm going to push that one off to the side. Not DNF it. Because I'm pretty sure it's the female narrator that's bothering me as much as it is. Um, so I don't want to DNF it completely. I might just go buy the physical book um because I'm in the beginning stages like it's just like I just started and I don't like DNFing books when I just started them so I'm just gonna push that off to the side give it a little break and we're gonna start Aaron Beauregard's uh playground because I found it on audiobook and I'm very excited of course I'm going to buy some more of his books because I loved Scary Bastard I might actually reread Scary Bastard at some point um because it's a very easy read. No doubt I can finish it in one day. Maybe even Halloween. We'll see. Um, but yeah, just not feeling it. So I'm going to start playground. Here we go. What? No, no. Not what we're doing. Sir? Sir? Look at mama. Are you trying to steal my food? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, I forgot to show you guys this yesterday because I started watching the Mayfair Witches yesterday. Um, Netflix picked up a lot of the AMC shows and I'm very excited. Don't you even try it, sir. Um, I It all started with like Monday. I saw an Interview with a Vampire, which the series I've been wanting to watch that one um, uh, came out. And then all of a sudden I went yesterday to look at my Netflix because I totally forgot and I didn't get a chance to um, start watching Interview with a Vampire. Um, I'm into episode one, and I'm loving it. <laughs> um, I hate the movie because I am hate Tom Cruise as Lestat, and I he's definitely not when I read the book how I pictured Lestat. And I know Anne Rice initially said she didn't like Tom Cruise. And then all of a sudden, she just... I don't know if they paid her more or what. So I really am not a huge Interview with a Vampire movie fan. Um, just because I freaking hate Tom Cruise's Lestat. The guy who's playing Lestat and Armand are 
like not just like I pictured them, but so much closer. <laughs> so I'm going to keep watching that. Also, apparently, The Mayfair Witches, I started watching that yesterday. I have a co-worker who watched that, and she's like, it was pretty good. And I loved the books. Um, and then A Discovery of Witches, which I think that's on Shudder. Um, and Fear the Walking Dead, The Terror, Dar the Daryl Dixon series is on here, and you know I'm going to start watching that. Why? Because, um, I'm a Daryl Dixon girly. Through and freaking through. Um, Dark Winds is on here. That is on AMC. Gangs of London. I swear I started watching this on Hulu. Um, and I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. So, I'm going to start watching some of these. Um, yeah. I am also really tired. But look at this. Look at this handsome man. Getting all sweet and good. He wants my nachos. But, yeah. We're going to go for a walk in a little bit, but let's start watching something else, too. My hair looks like shit. But, um, happy Sunday. It is ungodly hot, so I decided not to go to the car show today because it's so humid out. Um, but we are potentially going to a friend's house and they have a really beautiful, like, outdoor patio area and have dinner with them. So, I think this is going to be our last, as we call it, dog chow group for a bit because it's going to start getting cooler out. I'd love for them to do an October one. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe when I get my own house we can do it then. But, um, yeah. I'm just got the dogs out to go potty real quick. I'm gonna get him fed and then I'm gonna head out. So, changing plans. We decided not to try and push my mom's car to go to Grand Rapids to hang out with her friends. Just because her car is not doing the greatest. Um, and I should be getting mine back toward the end of this week. And I'm so excited! ETAs! So hopefully I will have my car back and it will be working in pristine shape. We do need to give my baby a bath. It has been sitting in a shop for quite some time. And, um, yeah, they, she needs a bath. So, but we did go get some icy cream because it is pretty warm. Plus, technically, it's the end of summer. <laughs> yeah, you heard me heat. You heard me warm weather. Boy, he's not doing very well. But, yeah. So, we got ice cream. I didn't end up going to the car show. For, this, for some of his reason today, I could not get out of bed. So, that's fine. It happens. I'm going to start reading more of The Whisper Man. I'm watching The Blair Witch Project, because I haven't watched it in forever, so. Happy Monday. I made breakfast after I took out the garbage, because it's garbage day, obviously. Um, but I had this oatmeal that I totally forgot that I bought. Um, and I got the pumpkin spice one of these last year. And that one slapped pretty hard, but this is caramel pecan and uh, date oatmeals or oatmeal, and they're like these pouches, and I can either microwave the pouch, I was gonna boil the pouch in water, but we, yeah, I decided not to, I was just gonna open it up and cook it, because there's three different ways that you can do it, and it's delicious, so I've yet to find any of these that I don't like yet, and I'm hoping they come out with the pumpkin one again, because that was really freaking good. Alright, I'm gonna go eat some breakfast. What else? Oh, now you're going to stop? Um, no, sir. Hello? What? What? Well, you can't have any. <laughs> I think I'm going to start doing these from now on. Like, my first day of, like, my last day off before work comes back. Um, and then, because I absolutely love these things. Dang it, I missed it. So. Um, absolutely love these things. This one is, what is this one? I think I got this one in Meyer. And it is ch -ch -ch, orange extract. Yeah, it's orange orange extract and it smells amazing. And then I'll do another one Friday after work because obviously I work in a very stressful field. Um, and <laughs> I need to start taking better care of my skin because I've been breaking out a lot more. Um, I am currently also, I slept, like I ate breakfast this morning. I had that pecan cinnamon like oatmeal thing, ate that, had one cup of coffee, went back for another, didn't drink it, but 
fell asleep all morning. Like, I literally fell back asleep, woke back up, it was noon. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what happened. I don't, I think it's the humidity. We're, it's very humid here in Michigan right now this weekend. Um, after a very nice streak of very cooler, like, fall feeling weather, and I'm just not prepared, so... I'm trying to spend a couple hours reading The Whisper Man because I feel like I'm kind of behind. I'm actually not. I'm almost halfway through this book. We're getting really close to halfway through. So, still liking it. It's really interesting. We've just found a body underneath the house. So, I'm loving it. Alright, let's, let's get reading. I just finished a good extended, like, hour and a half read. Um before I ate dinner and then I've just fed Ludo and I'm warming up a little bit of coffee because coffee doesn't hit me like normal people. So I'm going to have a little bit of that because I had some leftover from this morning because I ate breakfast, drank one cup of coffee, went and got another one, set it down and zonked out until like noon. Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> but still loving the Whisper Man. <coughs> I apologize. Um, but I don't know. I don't think I'm liking it as much. It's got a lot of like eerie like eerie vibes they just yeah it's yeah it's creepy I'm liking it um it's I'm not liking it as much as I liked the Boneman's Daughter but I'm liking it differently than the Boneman's Daughter so I, I am liking it so but I'm probably gonna end up reading a little bit more tonight I'm not I'm for some odd reason I started Gilmore Girls from season one <sighs> such good vibes like ooh. Love that show. I'm gonna watch some more of that. I'm making some ramen noodles and yeah. Here we go. Sorry. Um, I am back inside from letting Ludo really out from for his last potty break. It is starting to get darker earlier. It's still about 7.40, almost 8, and it's not completely dark yet, but you can just tell that it's starting to get darker. Um, I had one day last week when it wasn't so hot that I was able to take Ludo for a walk after I got home from work, and it was, you could tell it was starting to get dark. <laughs> we were walking around the park, and we came back. Um, so I'm gonna definitely try to take him for a walk tomorrow. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be as hot, but I'll definitely, we're gonna go by ear, because we couldn't go for a walk yesterday, we couldn't go for a walk today, because it was too humid. Where is my fall? I'm ready for my fall. But I'm currently, I'm going to, I want to finish this book. I want to finish The Whisper Man for the month of August because I want to get three books in for this month. And then either three or more books for next month. Um, I think I've got two so far that I know of. Um, and I might reread Scary Bastard if I end up not finding I have a huge list of horror books that I want to buy. So we're going to definitely check out, I don't know about this weekend, checking out the new... We have a new bookstore here in my hometown, and I'm thinking about going there this next weekend. At least buying one or two books. I don't know. We'll see what they've got. Um, they were at our local. We had our first Pride Festival, and I could not be more proud of my tiny little Ninja. I was so proud. Um, and I saw them there. Like, they had a booth, and I'm like, you're my kind of people. Let's do this. So I want to support them as much as possible and at least go in there and see what kind of books they have. And then there is a coffee shop down there. So we might do that, but also pumpkin spice lattes are out and I did not get to celebrate the beginning of the season. So definitely need some PSL makeups this weekend. I wanted to get cooler because our Big B, our local Big B has an apple cider, um, caramel apple cider drink and it is delicious, but it is so good warm. Like I can't reiterate how good it is hot. So I wanted to get cooler. This is the only time I can do that. But I also, in the middle of winter, I'm drinking cold brews. So I can't really talk crap. But yeah, I'm going to start reading. Probably going to finish off the vlog. Sorry, it's not that long. I really, this weekend kind of ended up being a wash. I am so sorry. I had so many plans to do everything, but it just got too humid and I just was not feeling it. Apparently my social battery was way lower than I thought it was. That's fine. All right. I will see you guys in the weekday. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Stay cool. <laughs>